I'm Paul D. Bartolomeo. Welcome to Training Minutes. In this segment, we're going to discuss common rescue scenarios where airbags can be applied. What we have here is a common scenario we face where people get their heads stuck between the bars of a wrought iron fence. While we have many options to extricate this person, most involve cutting one of the bars to successfully remove the person. We could do that using the forcible entry saw, but that's going to produce a lot of sparks, it's going to be noisy, it's going to produce a tremendous amount of vibration, and it could actually heat up the bar, which would further injure our patient. Another tool we could use would be the map gas torch. We could burn the bars away. Obviously, that has inherent drawbacks also that could further injure the patient. A simple and non-invasive method is to use airbags to push the wrought iron bars apart. Of course, the patient is our number one priority. What we're doing is using an old turnout coat to protect the person's upper extremities. Now we're going to take a 4x4 block and lash it to one of the opposing wrought iron posts. This will give us a base to push off of when we go to separate the bars. We want to try to set our bag as close to the patient as possible without causing further injury. Once our bag is set, we can slowly inflate and we'll be able to displace the bars. Up on green slow. When the bars have been displaced sufficiently, we can extricate the patient. Keep in mind we want to maintain C-spine immobilization and prepare to board and collar this patient. Many times in urban areas where elevators are poorly maintained or abused by the occupants, the hoistway door can come out of its frame and get racked. When this occurs, it's virtually impossible to open this door using conventional methods. The first thing we have to do when we come upon this situation is ensure that the power to the affected car is shut off. Assuming this elevator is occupied, we want to let the occupants know that they need to move away from the door. That we're going to be working on the door, so have them file to the back of the elevator car. In this situation, what we need to do first is gain a purchase on this hoistway door. Using our halligan, we can go between the wall and the door and get a purchase. Oftentimes, we may have to continue this purchase to the elevator car door itself in order to center the bag properly. So we have to look in and locate where the elevator car door is and try to get the forks of the halligan behind that door as well. Once we have a purchase of at least three quarters of an inch, we need to block it with a wedge. Now our purchase is secure we can set our airbag into the doorway here and inflate the bag and open this door. When we set our bag, we want to get as high as possible into the doorway. The locking mechanisms of this door are up towards the top, and that's what we're trying to defeat in this evolution. Using the yellow X on the bag, we want to try to slide it in so that the bag is centered on both doors. We hold the bag in position. Again, we notify the occupants of the elevator car to move towards the back of the car. We then give the command to our controller, up on blue. Have the controller inflate the bag until the door pops. Be advised that this is a latch ditch, ditch effort for opening elevator cars. This door is going to open in a rather explosive manner and is going to cause considerable damage. But when a door is racked in an elevator frame, it's really the only option we have. I'm Paul DiBartolomeo. Thank you for watching Training Minutes.